Howdy, what's up? My name's Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet, and we're here today to. Ch I mean, you saw the intro. Where did this thing come from? Uh, left field. It's Anyways, I have no idea. Hi, we're we're, we're going to do building it. We're going to see what's up. But uh, basically, I was contacted by the manufacturer, which I believe is just kind of one guy that didn't like the way PC cases were going with all the RGB and the glass and the you know it's very uh, you know dainty and uh, airflow is a concern. And he decided, hey, I'm gonna reinvent that wheel. And I don't know if he talks like that, but uh, basically <laughs> he built a computer case that can either exhaust out the top with two 120 mil fans and intake from the bottom or vice versa with a 120 mil fans. And it just kind of makes this air chamber that, uh, you know, it isn't fancy. It's definitely function over form. And uh, I'm interested to, to build in it. So what's it called? Well, it's the Septicon. Septicon. We got a little build guide here and some instructions and whatever. But I have an internet website that I hotspotted my phone to, so you could look at it. So thanks taking all my data. Still don't have internet. Boof! Introducing the CPM-1, the first and only case bold enough to define a new era in desktop computers. Great for professionals who need I.O. access. Fast and lightweight design. Compact and lightweight design. Works with uh, the, the, the server motherboards and... Uh, yeah, Epic or Xeon, full metal design, durably cosmetic power, oh, it's power coated, poucher coated, completely uninterrupted airflow for maximum cooling capability. We will definitely be testing that. And uh, yeah, there's the website. It's uh, it's interesting. I, I, I'm I definitely looking forward to it. It definitely is packaged well. It has all the screws and the little uh, Velcro things. And there's a little side connector here. I'm gonna use a Noctua on it. Where'd the side connector go? It's like, oh, here we go. A uh, little thing that makes it so your power connector will go sideways. So, you know, all the thoughts there, and it's pretty good. But I'm, a, I'm unfortunately have to tell you how much it costs. Oh, my goodness. $274 American. That's unfortunate. Now, let me explain. You can get a hell of a lot of case for $200, $200 to $300. This being on the upper end of that, uh, it's definitely going to be uh, something that needs to be marketed properly. I like that he's talking about server stuff. Uh, this is obviously something you could build, uh, you know, in and, uh, you know, the airflow is going to be taken care of. There's little dust filters you're going to install with, you know, the, the four fans. And I think that it's got some cool things to it. Basically, this thing comes off easily and we'll put that over here. And then you build inside this thing and um, the motherboard lays flat, the I.O. comes out the top, you got a button for your power, some USB 3's, some uh, audio jacks, and you're going to have like your HDMI sticking out of here and your Ethernet and stuff. Uh, but you know, we'll, we'll have to test it out and see what it's like. Uh, but it's not flashy and it's not, uh, like I get the price, 270 because he's, he's building this you know, and, and putting together, like I saw he had a pictures of skid, a skid of them. So he's made it enough that uh, you know he can sell a whole whack of them if they get popular for the for a specific use case but uh, you know and it's, it's, it's good metal it's not super flimsy it's not going to bend and stuff like that and there's a lot that went into the manufacturing and the the, the, the forethought all the little baggies of standoffs and screws and the dust filters and the sideways power thing but Oh man, you can get a really good temper glass case with RGB fans in it for about a hundred bucks these days. So spending nearly three times that, uh, you're, it's definitely going to have to be for a specific use case, which we'll look into today. So I'm going to do building it. X58. I know you've been eyeballing this baby. I got this brand new for 100 Canadian dollars on, on our local selling site. So I got this for a ridiculous deal. I could turn around and sell this on eBay for, you know, 250 bucks. A brand new saber tooth that's never been used. A brand new X58 saber tooth. Like, I'm super, super lucky. See? Proof. Still in the package. Never been used. Or, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's been used. I took some of the plastics and stuff off of it when I got it. But it's like, you can smell that new motherboard smell. So we're going to be putting a Xeon in it, of course. A six-core Xeon. Boof! 
I got from eBay another X5650 uh, with six cores and 12 threads that we're going to be popping in this baby. And then uh, just whatever random parts I line around because I don't care too, too much about this system. I got a 600 watt uh, OCZ power supply. It's not modular or anything. So I guess we'll be dealing with some cables that we got to hang in there. And then uh, I got a bunch of Enermax fans that I always use. A GTX 760 that I haven't tested yet that I got in trade that I want to make sure works. And uh, we'll put 12, no wait, that's um, 24 gigs of DDR3, uh, yeah, Kingston. Hyper X Predator memory, so that's going to be fun. And then, uh, seeing as it's going to be hard to mount, like I suppose on the bottom you could put an AIO rad. We'll see that in a second, but I'm just going to put a big fat Noctua air cooler on it, the 9 series, because uh, it's the only one I have that fits this chipset that's done an AIO kicking around. So let's get to it. I'll do one of those things. I always smash some footage together, some B roll make the build happen in this thing and then we'll do some uh, temperature testing and stuff like that and I'll let you know how easy it was to build in this thing but I'm interested to see where it goes from here it's a little black box my little black box we'll put it in there it'll be fine so blah, 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 blah. hi there oh yeah hey, motherboard it's gonna be fun and we'll do a build and thanks very much for watching I'm Matt me Joe Woo! back and I've created a monster. I've created a garbage can. What does it remind you of? Hmm. Well, let's talk about my experiences building this thing. So we got an X58 and I think I had more trouble getting windows on it and, you know, it overclocking and working properly uh, than building in it. It was a fairly easy, straightforward thing to do because it's well laid out and, you know, it's a computer that's shifted upwards and you know, standard kind of stuff. I think you could put an AIO in the bottom of it, no problem. Uh, you'd have to, you know, either intake from the bottom then, which I am right now intaking from the top, blowing at the bottom. I'd rather have the hot air blowing out the bottom than blowing out the top. I think that's the only way it really makes sense. But uh, yeah, you could put an AIO in the bottom or have the hot air blow into the AIO and maybe do it. You could even probably fit with the right graphics card in there. Uh, you know, push-pull situation. There's a lot of room in here to work. It's, it, it's a little bit uh, small dimensionally compared to a normal computer case, but it's a lot f like fatter or you know the, the belly of it. And then uh, you know it's, it's fairly easy to put together. So we take this panel and you put it in here come so. Uh, now you don't have to do this with the other panel off. You can do it you know the other, other way here. I mean, and, you know it's, there's like little locking pins that will keep this in here and I put the, the came with a whole whack of stuff like a lot of uh, velcro which made it nice for cable management cable management is weird because you have some fans in there that are in a position to get some cables in the way and when I first first built it I turned it on something was touching the fan and I had to open it up and move them around but now that I have all the you know that secured it's awesome and then I thought maybe that these would be like little dots so you could put some on the inside of this and some on the inside of that and it would like make it so the panel stuck together but I only got like the one like the, the, the super grippy side of the dots not the other thing so I've just been using them as a sound dampener because this touches this and it's like directly yeah whatever so uh, it's not that loud right now at all but we of course it's opened up but we get what the handles in there get this in here 
And I know I'm making you guys cringe handling the computer while it's on like this, but and then using a drill to boot. Boop! And then you take this. You can probably put thumb screws here too. It came with a lot of thumb screws, which was nice. You can use them on your drives and stuff like that. There is a spot inside here. Let's lift the garbage can. Ugh. Boop. Uh, there's a spot inside, uh, you know, for two, three and a half inch hard drives, and then you could probably fit uh, four, two and a half. So, uh, you know, you could put, fit a lot of SSDs in this thing, but as for like hard drive space, it would be nice if it actually had like three, three and a half inch slots and two um, SSD slots, but. Anyways, it's all good. It's actually not a bad little case. I do like it. And it's, it's not that loud. In fact, the CPU is not that hot right now because I have these, these are blue fans. The lights only come on them uh, when the CPU is under load because I've set like um, Q fan control on them and there's not enough energy getting to them until you really make the CPU work. But I have a, the GPU overclocked here as, uh, let me see here, is afterburner open? Afterburner, there you are. I have a uh, 116 uh, megahertz overclock on the core and almost 400 on the memory on the GTX 760, which I've never played bef with before. So I'll do a little review on it because uh, it seems to be pretty good. Like if a 750 Ti is like a really good budget option, if you can find one of these things, it's even better. But of course, it only has two gigs of memory. But uh, you know, again, uh, well over 100 and you know 120 frames a second in Unigen at 720p on high. That's not so bad. So let's check out some temperatures. And keep in mind, I only have a Noctua 9 series on there. It's like a little, you know, it's got five heat pipes, but not a lot of surface area. It's not like a big tower, like a you know Cooler Master or something like that. And uh, if we shut this off, we can go ahead and open up some Cena Bench. And uh, I've got this uh, overclocked to four gigahertz. So four gigahertz uh, from like 2.6 base on the X5650. And uh, you know, there's a few things open on it right now. It's not gonna score the greatest, but uh, see temperatures are getting pretty high up there, but I would expect that with this cooler. But this uh, feeds air right into the uh, tower. So it's, you know, there's a push pull on the tower too. So this is about as good as the, you know, as expected. For, for this and it's not getting really overly loud during the Cinebench run or anything like that. Let's see the GPU, uh, what did it hit? Uh, the GPU temperatures, it hit almost 80 degrees while I was running Unigen for about five minutes there. So the GPU is not bad, you know, it's getting plenty of air. Otherwise that would probably have throttled and, and the overclock would have failed. And yeah, we're getting 950 in Cinebench. Uh, it'll go up to 1000 if I close everything out and really uh, concentrate on it. But uh, the garbage can, what, what are we here? Well, it's easy to build in. It's very specific use casey because a lot of people want aesthetics these days. And I mean, it looks like a little garbage can. Now you could fire this under your desk and although people might try and toss garbage into it from time to time, uh, it doesn't look like a big computer case, and because of the way it's ventilated, I really like that. It's pushing you know, a lot of air right through to the bottom. There's a good, uh, like the power supply is exhausting out the bottom. These are intaking, and you know it's not overly loud. I, I would have actually assumed it would have been a little bit louder, but I tuned the fans on this so that they only run at 1,000 RPM max, and I uh, put QFAN on all of them, QFAN control. So, all in all, not a bad little system. I'm at watch Instagram and Timmy Joe Twitter. I'm at Timmy Joe. Follow me on Twitter already. I almost have a thousand followers. And it's like, uh, they just wiped out a bunch of Twitter users and I lost like 50 of them. And it was hard to, it's been hard to get to a thousand. So if you don't follow me on uh, Twitter, it's at watch Timmy Joe, Instagram too. I post mostly like kid pictures and stuff like that on there. But uh, you can always follow me, whatever. And uh, we're, we're get, almost got the internet. I mean, I almost might be like Tuesday next week or th there's a little like, a long weekend here. I, I sure hope I have the internet in very soon because it's hard to research videos. And I want to do another episode of Noob Plebs, try to buy, sell things on the, uh, on the interwebs, on the Craigslist. But I need internet to do that. And uh, right now I'm just hotspotting my phone and it's terrible. So I will see you guys in another video. If you can help me out, uh, there's an Amazon link to this thing below. I, I don't know if many people will buy it, but it is definitely there and it would help me out if you're considering buying this. Uh, I also want to say uh, real quick, 
he includes five um, PCI slot covers when I had to go find one of my own because I thought you only have a graphics card in there, you're missing one, which is weird, but everything else is thought of really, really well. I think if I had the, these things and they were like they actually stuck to themselves, then maybe that would be a little bit cooler, but the fact that there's like a hundred, uh, you know, Velcros included and all the screws and a bunch of thumb screws, it's really well thought out. And it's there's there was no, nothing wrong with putting this together. It was easy, it was efficient, and you have to think a little bit outside of the box, you know, because it's not a normal computer case, but it's pretty damn good. I, I'd have to say, just the price needs to come down, and he'll only do that if he sells enough of them that he can bring the manufacturing costs down, I'm sure, which maybe you could help him out with that if you like the garbage can. I'll see you guys in another video. I'm going to take this thing and put it over here. I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.